Welcome back to Train Signal Citrix Zen App Training. You're watching the lab setup lesson. All right, this lesson's kind of cool because it helps you understand what it is that you need to have from a hardware and software perspective in order for you to build a lab and follow along with our on screen instructions. So, what I want to do here is just give you what I'll be using what you could potentially use and see if we can make it work. Now for the most part there are two scenarios by which you can approach a lab setup, right? You know, the ultimate lab and we might be using an ultimate lab in some cases, we might not be using an ultimate lab in other cases and I'll explain that in a second here. But the ultimate lab is to obviously have a, a server with a lot of CPU and a lot of memory, put some kind of a virtualization um, hypervisor on it and start building your VMs accordingly so that you can follow along. Now, if you don't have access to a server or you don't have the funds to buy a server class hardware and put it in your basement or in your house and power it on with all the power costs and bells and whistles, and you don't have access to it at work where you can use this remotely or even when you're at work, well, then we're going to also look at what we call the shoestring budget lab. The shoestring budget lab is going to consist of, well, how can you do this with regular desktop machines and, and how much memory do you need in it and, and what kind of software can you add to it to make it work. So ways to set up your lab. Now the goal is to have a, a means for you to follow along with the Zen app videos that we are going to perform during the series. Uh, the methods, you can have a workstation with enough memory and disk space that can handle an installation of a type 2 client hypervisor like VMware Workstation or Microsoft Virtual PC. The idea here is if you have a desktop with let's say you know you have decent memory on it and you have good disk and the CPU is capable well can, why can't you just install VMware Workstation and let's just start loading up virtual machines. So if I need six virtual machines or four virtual machines for you to follow along with the lab then you can bring those up that way and this is sort of like the cheap approach to things. Now, If you have access to a server that you can install some form of virtualization on it well then more power to absolutely do that and that will give you all of the hardware resources that you need. You don't need more than one server anyway uh, as long as it has enough memory and, and compute resources to handle all the virtual machines that we're going to bring up. Now workstation lab configuration. I understand that not all of you are going to have access to a server so the server one is easy. If you have enough resources there's really no need to talk. You'll have enough resources and build these virtual machines. However from a workstation lab perspective what I'm going to be using for the most part for the majority, I would say for for maybe 95 or 98 percent of this series, I'm going to be on a workstation that has a quad core processor, 8 gig of memory, Windows 7 64 bit is what's running on it, and I'm going to have VMware Workstation 7.1 as a Type 2 client hypervisor that's going to allow me to virtualize the following virtual machines. I'm going to have one ZenApp server version 6 running Windows Server 2008 R2. I'm going to give it two virtual CPUs, I'm going to give it two gig of memory, and I'm going to give it however much disk space it needs. I have plenty of disk space, I have about a 500 gig hard drive here. And this particular ZenApp server is going to host my web interface server, it's also going to have ZenApp server installed on it. Now I'm going to need another virtual machine running also ZenApp 6 um, with Windows Server 2008, except we're not putting any particular emphasis on it other than it is a second ZenApp server that's going to be added in our farm. It won't have web interface or anything else, but we need it for some of the lessons for load balancing purposes and what have you. Another VM I'm going to need for Windows Server 2008 R2 with about one gig of RAM, one virtual CPU. All I needed to run is the main services, DNS, DHCP, uh, in order for it to um, help us for some of the lessons that we need and create the domain, etc. But we're also going to install uh, Citrix licensing on this particular virtual machine. So I'm trying to consolidate roles here so that we don't have to you know, add another virtual machine for Citrix licensing that's going to take up too many resources. This particular one can handle it and more. I'm also going to have one virtual machine running Windows 7 with one vCPU, ah, about one gig of memory, maybe a little less. And this is going to act as the client so that when we go through the lessons of installing you know, certain plugins or certain clients, we can simulate that also from a VM running Windows 7. So this is what you're going to need from a workstation lab configuration perspective. 
you should be able any decent desktop today should be able to handle this configuration you might need to up your your memory on it a little bit but you should be able to handle this on pretty much any workstation maybe even split up the load onto two workstations if you have to if you can't support 8 gig of memory for example the software that you're going to need to make this happen, you're going to need the uh, Server 2008 R2 standard. You don't need anything fancy there. Windows 7, yeah, you can use 32 uh, or 64-bit, whatever you want. I'm using a 64-bit one. You're going to need access to the Citrix ZenF6 software. And I know a lot of you are going to ask, well, where can we get this? You can get this if you go to uh, Citrix.com. You get a, a My Citrix account. You should be able to get evaluation software from Citrix. If you're a current cl uh, customer of Citrix or a customer wannabe, you can also contact your sales rep or your channel and request demo licenses and access to the media uh, for Zenap 6. You can also attend some of the user groups for Citrix within your area and pretty much walk up to the marketing folks at Citrix and ask for a copy. They should be able to hook you up. Now, remember when I said that 95 or 98% of the, the lessons are going to be on VMware Workstation on my local desktop. Well, that 2%, I was pretty much referring to the Citrix Netscaler VPX Access Gateway Enterprise Edition. Now, two things I want to mention here. First, this particular appliance, when you download it, there's a lot of iterations, a lot of versions of the Access Gateway that are out there. There's the Access Gateway Standard Edition. Uh, there's Access Gateway, a different flavors of it. I want to make sure you're downloading the Citrix Netscaler VPX Access Gateway Enterprise Edition. The Netscaler is important. Don't download the regular one because you wouldn't be able to follow along. Now, this particular appliance, I'm not sure that you can load it on Workstation 7.1. And I, I shouldn't say I'm not sure. I don't recommend and I don't think it'll work on Workstation 7.1. You'll have to load it. Uh, in my case, I'm loading it on VMware vSphere. You can also load this appliance if you download the right one on Zen Server. If you have Zen Server running as a hypervisor somewhere in the environment, you can download the Zen Server equivalent and you can check to see if there's a Hyper-V equivalent to the Netscaler. Last time I checked, it was only vSphere and Zen Server, but you know they're constantly adding support for it, so it might be there. The other piece of software that you're going to need access to is VMware Workstation 7.1. If you're going to follow along exactly with what I'm doing, this is the Type 2 client hypervisor that I'm going to do use to virtualize all the virtual machines for this course. I hope this lesson was informative for you and gave you enough information uh, to be able to make decisions and determinations on how to set up your lab. I'd like to invite you to start the Citrix ZenApp 6 training course from TrainSignal.